Hi everybody, just uh, it's me, it's James. Quick message from uh, a very chilly UK countryside to finish the year off uh, and what a year it has been. 2020 has certainly been one of the toughest years uh, for me in business and it's been the same, I know, for all of us. Uh, it's been like no other in modern times. We've seen the start of a global raging pandemic uh, beginning at the, be at the beginning of this year uh, that's not just affected our business but has affected now millions and millions of people around the world. Uh, and people have been affected in extreme ways. People have lost loved ones uh, and our hearts go out to anyone that's been directly impacted either just simply for work uh, or through health or in the worst possible case scenario, losing a loved one. Um, it's been tough for us as a business, but we are still fighting. Um, we are not completely through uh, yet, um, but we certainly feel like we've dealt with the worst of it. Um, we've obviously had shutdowns, we've had layoffs, we've had everybody doing sacri uh, salary sacrifices. Um, and it's through a combination of all of these efforts that we have all pulled together and pulled through uh, what has been the darkest period in, in the company's history. Uh, and with that, we're now looking forward to what should be a much, much brighter and much better 2021. This is our 25th anniversary uh, this year. So uh, it's, uh, I suppose it's a little bit poetic to see that, uh, you know, we've had our toughest challenge uh, in what is a big anniversary year for us. Um, but, you know, we are, uh, you know, a great team. And, uh, you know, as I keep on saying, you know, these, t these uh, tough times don't last, but tough teams certainly do. Uh, and we're looking forward to a better 2021. Um, our, you know, I'd like to extend a, you know, a big thank you to, you know, first of all, to our brand ambassadors, to all of the guys who've worked, you know, on commission, you know, tirelessly through lockdowns, you know, through lockdowns and have, you know, had to stay at home uh, without an income. We've obviously had great bonus structures when people have come back to work. Uh, you know, but we enormously appreciate the amount of work uh, and the, and just managing the daily challenges of having to come back into an environment uh, that is not really conducive to face to face marketing. So the changes, the SOPs and all of that kind of stuff, your resilience, your effort, your commitment level is to be absolutely lauded. And, uh, you know, I certainly hope that uh, you're all rewarded coming into 2021 with you know better teams. Uh, the fact that we're now recruiting, you know, a, a much higher standard of person as well uh, means that I hope that your reward uh, coming into 2021 is advancements and uh, getting into a situation where you're running your own business. Same goes for our owners. I know we've had financial strain. We've had, uh, again, changes to the way that we do business um, from having to learn about how to do everything online to only small meetings. But again, these changes, I think, are going to be hugely positive for us in the future because we've learned a lot about how we can do our business differently and in many cases, how we can do our business better in the future. And that is going to stand us in great stead you know, for 2021 and beyond. Uh, it is, you know, I think, you know, goes without saying that, uh, you know, I think for all of the people in head office, uh, for our administrators, for our staff that basically are working uh, tirelessly behind the scenes to make sure that we could still process forms. Uh, we've had to do that in all sorts of different situations in all of our eight, now nine countries that we operate in. So again, for the salary sacrifices, for all the hard work and for the adaptability, yeah, and uh, and how everyone's, you know, continue to learn and get better uh, about how to do their jobs better. I want to say a huge heartfelt thank you from me and from all of our senior team. Um, to, you know, our clients and business partners, we want to thank you as well for having stuck with us. Um, you know, in some cases, we've not been able to deliver on the budgets that we set out at the beginning of the year. In some cases, we have. Uh, no matter what, we will continue to strive and do our very, very best to make up for lost ground as we do get back to work uh, in the new year. Uh, and, you know, not just not get back to where we were before, but to even exceed expectations and to come back even stronger. We're not looking to do 2020's turnover in 2021. We're looking to be even more, even bigger, with an even bigger headcount by, by, again, the middle of this year, by the middle of the coming year. So we're very excited about that too. So what have we got to look forward to in 2021? Well, there's all sorts of things that are being worked on at the moment. From a business development point of view, we're excited about energy, we're excited about insurance, we're excited about mobile phone insurance, we're excited about uh, the new development of direct-to-consumer deliveries directly to people's homes, which we're seeing obviously explode all over the world and in Asia as well. Um, we are now, or we will be by the middle of January, 100% digital business. That means it's 100% digital sales in the field. Uh, and that opens up huge opportunities for us to then take that further where we are doing point of sale uh, deductions. Yeah, so lowering rejects and making sure that we're getting a clear payment when we're selling a product or we're signing somebody up for a service directly out in the field. 
uh, QR codes and the development of QR codes to not just sign people up directly on our devices, but to allow people to be able to sign up on their own devices, uh, which further strengthens the, you know, the, 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 the I suppose the sale uh, and making sure that people feel more and more confident about, uh, about having their own details put into their own devices. So those are all certainly exciting elements of how our business is going to keep adapting or, or keep developing going into 2021. Uh, we're also going to be fully digital in terms of the application process. So people are going to be able to sign up or fill in an application form uh, for work uh, on the way into the office. Uh, you know, maybe not even need to come into the office at all as people are now being, you know, having their appointments done sometimes remotely, sometimes in a Starbucks. And so all of these things, you know, the full digitalization of our business and the changes that we are making because of what we've learned this year are all extremely exciting things. We've got massive uh, goals to hit with our existing clients, with a lot of our charity budgets, with Singtel, you know, with the energy businesses, um, with our existing insurance relationships in places like Malaysia. Uh, and we've got big, big, big goals to hit in all of our for, our, for our NGO clients and obviously for our brand new commercial programs that will be launching all over the place in all eight or nine of our countries going into next year. So very, very, very exciting times. Uh, look, just to finish off, um, you know, a, a few personal messages for me to my senior team, to Chi Wai, to Adrian, to Terence and Vishnu and, uh, and all of my senior partners. Uh, you know, amazing work uh, that's been done, amazing commitment, time, effort, energy, you know, to, uh, you know, to getting the very, very best, you know, out of their own businesses. But not just that, the amount of time that they've all committed to working with other organizations and, you know, to see team meetings and Zoom meetings going on with, you know, inter-organizationally uh, has really, really, really been great. Uh, to Choi, for all of her, her work, and to Martin Gaffney, uh, these two have been absolutely incredible, uh, you know, through this, uh, through this whole period. And uh, I really do take my hat off for the amount of time and energy that's been put in by them both. Uh, they have literally steered the business through all of the challenges that we've had to deal with, uh, working directly with the clients, working directly with all the various different teams, to all the general managers in all countries and all hard work you've done as well. Uh, I take my hat off to you, but I'm not just going to take my hat off. I'm actually going to put my hat on. There you go. And I'm going to wish you all a ho, 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 very, very, very Merry Christmas. And uh, I hope that 2021 is the year that we all are looking forward to and hope it will be. Merry Christmas, everybody.